The Marines are testing a new robo dog that could follow voice commands, carry gear, and fire rockets. So could this be their new secret weapon? Here to weigh in is Kurt the Cybergate. It is uh, what one Marine corporal calls mildly terrifying after testing this thing out. This is uh, meant to go into battle, uh, at Battlefield Beast, this uh, robot dog called the Go One. It is, it is from Unitree. It's voice activated. It's got the ability to carry anti-armor rocket launchers and do all kinds of stuff to support troops as they go into battle. It's not hitting the battlefield yet, but boy, it is almost ready to get out there. It's gonna put Belgian Malinois out of business. Voice commands, this thing, it doesn't look far away, Kurt. It looks like it's almost ready. And it does make me nervous a little. <laughs> You should make the bad guys nervous. All right, now, you got an exor exercise bike that's a power generator? Are you old enough to know what Gilligan's Island is? Yeah. Remember course. when Gilligan would hop on the bike and they'd do the laundry that way, he'd pedal, and it would make the washing machine in the front of the bike yeah. clean their laundry? This is the idea with what's called, what's called the HR bank. So this, in war zones, they're using to generate electricity. Two kilowatts uh, are stored in a battery on this bike. This is going to come out in 2024. It is amazing what this does. It'll power a fridge for three days, a TV for a couple days. It is the ugliest looking thing, but boy, you hop on that thing, it generates electricity and you get your exercise done. And what they found is that in war-torn areas, this could be your only way to get reliable electricity when this stuff goes out, not for weeks, but months hmm. before it's even turned back on. Yeah, Gilligan's Island was on rerun when I was a kid. I yeah. catch it in syndication. I knew what you know the debate over you know Ginger versus Marianne was about. Oh, I... there's all kinds of drama there, right? <laughs> all right, here we got an AI tool that can help prevent mass shootings. This is according to the guys that developed it, which is a bunch of Navy SEALs. Yeah, Zero Eyes is the name of the company. It's a group of veteran Navy SEALs that dreamed up this idea. You know, what's the solution to this mass shooter problem we have? This could be it. It's technology. So imagine taking a camera system outside of a school, a bowling alley, restaurants, public venues, and you adapt their technology to it. And what it does is, what they found is that over 90% of active shooters approach a structure while brandishing their weapon. This system would automatically pick it up, trigger a call center. They'd say, okay, that is, that is an active shooter. Bam, hit the button inside. It warns people. It automatically notifies the police, sending the suspect's image to them. They can identify the type of weapon that they have. And then for school administrators, they know to do a lockdown. I could see where this goes in the future, where it automatically could slow down an active shooter by locking the doors automatically. But if nothing else, warning the people inside, if it's just a few seconds warning, that could, that's the difference between life and death in a lot of people's lives in these scenarios. It's, te it's a technology that is very, very promising. Yeah, so I can't see, you know, I'm sitting here trying to listen and think, I don't see the downside in this one at all. Not right? at all. You have a cost, so you have school districts that may want to have to shell out for this. But if it's working, we need to take a very good look at this. It appears to test out very, very well. How it would roll out on a grand scale, we'll have to take a look at. But it's extremely, extremely promising in this arena. When you see some of these videos of these things going down, to your point, the weapon is brandished. And there's a, a maybe a moment of denial for even the first, say, eyewitness. Oh, that's not what's gonna happen You here. hear that again yeah. and again. You hear, oh, I thought it was a balloon popping, or yeah. I looked and I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. Right. And then beat, 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 then I reacted. Right. And it's, that, it's those milliseconds that make all the difference in the world. By the way, uh, do you sign up for my newsletter? Uh, at I mean, I've been signed up for years, ever since I've known you. I greatly appreciate yeah. that. Cyberguy.com. So yeah. Yes, sir, good all to right. see you.